that's him. We did it. Bye. Hmm. I don't like this. It's too quiet. Too easy. What? E what part was easy? Y getting chased by frozen madmen and gorillas? Uh, sparks. No, let me get in. the miraculous, incredible, stupendous. A dragon your size defeating that, that, that thing. Uh, thank you. Uh, 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 Spyro. A purple dragon named Spyro. Amazing. Of course, there were unsubstantiated rumors of a purple dragon countless generations ago, but most considered a hearsay. Gossip, legend, it's hard to believe, difficult to fathom, amazing to comprehend. Uh, hmm? Why do they gag this guy? So much time has passed, so many things have been learned. And now here he is, standing right before me. Excuse me, Mr. Vault. What, 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 what is... So should, shouldn't we get going? Oh, of course. But where to? Well, back to the temple. A friend of yours is waiting. Ignitus? Yes, Ignitus. Of course, much to tell him. Many hypotheses to pose. I... Yes, yes, Voltaire. It's good to see you as well, but we don't have time to waste on sentiment. Back to Cinder. She was doing what to you? Cinder's a chick? Oh, it's hard to be absolutely sure, Ignitus. But it seems she was using me as some sort of suspended organic power source. Huh? She was using him as a battery. Why didn't he just say so? Not only that, she also left with a glowing yellow orb. And I believe that I somehow powered it. Does this mean anything to you, Ignitus? Perhaps. Perhaps. What I do know is that we need to rescue the other Guardians before Cinder can power any more of those orbs. I agree, Ignitus. But first I'd like to impart some useful knowledge to Spyro. Vis-a-vis -vis his recently acquired electricity-based exhalation device. What? Well, he says he'd like to teach me some things about that electricity breath. Boy, why didn't you just say so? Electric. 
electricity, the spark of life. Listen, and I will teach you its secrets. Quick study after all. Over here. This way, oh Marv One. Oh, <laughs> 
Training is complete. For now. Cyril, the Ice Guardian, was taken to Tall Plains. You and Sparks must go there at once and find him. Yes, sir. But if we see danger, we should run, right? There are times when all of us need to stand up to danger, young Sparks. Yeah, maybe next month, next summer, perhaps next year. Just go. Now. Yes, sir. home to a proud ancient tribe called the Atlawa. Oh, bless you. Sparks. The Atlawa were a people in tune with the rhythms of the seasons, focused on their relationship to crops, their surroundings, their gods. They've all been driven underground by Cinder and her forces, who have taken over the tribe shrine. I sense that's where Cinder is keeping Cyril, trying to power another crystal. You must find him before she succeeds. Right. It's never easy. <laughs> Nothing worthwhile ever is. So now you're spouting wisdom, hero boy? <laughs> Come on.
Ha <laughs> ha! 